Hi guys, I'm really excited about today's video because this is completely out of the ordinary. To start with, I'm not even in my studio. I'm at one of my favorite prop stores in the city called Madras Prop Store. I'm going to be walking you through some of my favorite props at their new store which has some amazing collections and I'm going to show you how I use them in my own collections. start planning a photo shoot, I think about what my base prop would be. Now the base prop is essentially what I put the baby into, the newborn baby into, or I put a child into, or a child sitting by it, or standing um, beside it with support. My base prop is literally going to be of strong focus, like the baby itself. Now um, what I like to do is work on it step by step. So I start with the base prop, and then I decide what backdrop would look good with it, and then I move on to elements that I can add around it to create a theme. And finally, I would think about the outfit for the baby. So we're going to go through all of this step by step. To begin with, I want to just show you the base box behind me. We have the largest collection in the Dross Prop Store. And when I look around, all I can think about is which one I would choose and for what age group. So let's go through that right now. Okay, to give you an example of the base prop and how I would plan a look around it is this pearl shell over here. What I'm going to be doing is, if I have something that is so theme based, I would think about doing an underwater theme. I could use a blue backdrop which looks like it's out of water. I would use this, place a baby in it, open it out a little more, have the baby dressed as a mermaid with a lot of pearls around her neck, and sort of just fill this up to give it a really nice rich look. Uh, this, for me, would make a lot of sense because of the product itself. For instance, if we were using a prop like this, which does not really have a theme attached to it, what I typically do is I, I plan a look based on colors. So I have a very neutral bamboo clay basket here, but I would think about what colors I want to associate with it. Now this being an early brown, I would think about early colors around it. Like, like a pink would go, a sunflower yellow would go, or say a maroon would go, would look really nice. I think about you know maroon flowers, pink flowers, yellow flowers placed around this basket. And I would think about a very early or a white wood backdrop beside it to sort of complement the entire look. And then I would think about what outfit I would put on the baby to make this look complete. So basically, once I decide my base prop, everything around it or everything surrounding it would be a thought process flow that I would go through right after I choose it. I've seen one of the biggest trends right now is actually posing newborns on their own little newborn chairs. So there is a nice collection here in terms of chairs and posing pods and sofas made for newborns. And there are lots of accessories around here that you can place to create a theme around it. So let's look at this one. Here we have a posing pod. This is a pretty old invention and it's a beautiful one. Uh, but what I have been liking a lot more right now is a posing chair or one of these imperial sofas where you could have the baby well rested and supported. Make sure you use this photo at all times. Imagine if you were to use, say, maybe one of these sofas, a brown one here. So you could place one of these miniature uh, chest of drawers or really stool beside the sofa and create a theme around this. So you could put miniature cups over here, like a Starbucks cup, put a baby laptop, put this tiny little camera, and really create a theme around it with something as simple as this. All you need now is a clean backdrop and a floor drop to complete the entire look and an outfit to match the theme you're aiming for. I have to highlight one of the most versatile props I have been using from Madras Prop Store, which is this mini ladder. Now they do have a taller version of it for maternity shoots as well, but this one is my favorite. I love props that are versatile because you can use them across several age groups. Now this one, for instance, you can use it plain without anything and have a sitter stand right next to it, keeping it very minimalistic, yet giving support to a baby who's about eight to 10 months of age, who can stand with support. Now, another way to use it is I would have the baby sit in front of the ladder, a little more centered, this on the side. I put flowers, I could put pumpkins, I could put these cute wreaths in the background, or I could make it a very rustic look with, you know, using the baby's breath, the fake baby's breath over here, all these cute little ferns, and of course, pop is one of my favorite things to use. So, you could really go wild in terms of ideas when you talk about the mini ladder. So do come and check this one out. I am going to show you a bunch of pictures I've shot with this and it's something I keep coming back to when I design photo shoots. Now that I've shown you how I choose my base prop and start designing the setup with the base prop first, the next thing I want to focus on is the filler. 
The filler fabrics are what I use to stuff inside the baskets, inside the buckets to make the baby comfortable and also to make the entire thing look pretty. I absolutely love, love the size of these circular Tocati furs and I love how thick they are and how voluminous they are because these look really good in photographs. Anything with texture looks amazing. So these are one of my favorite fillers to use. They've got them in pretty much every color. They also have the 5x5 versions of this which are available here in different colors. Again, most of it is sold out, especially these. So if you want these, you have to get your hands on them as soon as they're released. But my absolute favorite, this makes or breaks an image because it's the closest thing to a baby when you're shooting. I'm now in the outfits section and we have a large variety of outfits like from maternity gowns to outfits for sitters and for newborns. So my next obvious choice is to go and figure out what outfit I'm going to be using. I absolutely love the options here. There are a lot of theme based options. They have these cute little lion caps and a whole bunch of colors to play with. Um, I guess the options here are actually endless. I love this Batman one. These are definitely some of my favorite colors. If you look at my work, I'm always about early tones. This is one of my favorite outfits that we've been using time and again for both sitters and for newborns. It's got the whole rustic boho feel to it and I absolutely love lace too. They look, it looks amazing in photo shoots. So um, these are beautiful choices and these are new. I haven't seen these before. Speaking of outfits, in relation to that, I want to show you the collection that they have in terms of wraps. They have textural wraps, they have woolen knitted wraps, they have pie wraps, they also have fillers and these are called the lasagna 2-in-1 wrap and layer. Uh, we also have some food styling napkins which honestly can be used as fillers and of course cheesecloth wraps followed by these amazing beautiful pillows and fabrics here. section in the store which is the flower section. I love using florals if you see in my work. I absolutely love adding florals to sitter sessions, to newborn sessions, the likes of it and maternity too. They have a plethora of colors over here, a huge range of colors, a huge range of types of flowers, right from like these beautiful ferns to hydrangeas to peonies. The options are endless clearly. But what I want to show you is um, some of my favorite ones out here which I love to use in these shoes to layer them as just, you know, like a touch of green or a touch of brown. I love this compass that they have out here. I've been using it consistently in all the boho setups we've been doing for maternity and newborns. I also love these leaves they have here. They have them in different colors. There's green, there are autumn leaves, but these are beautiful to just drape around the basket, around flowers, just keeping it very natural looking. And another favorite here is Man, they really talk through everything. These are flower heads. So basically, when I buy flowers, I usually pluck off the heads and use them separately and sort of put them into corners that have gaps. They're selling puny heads separately now, which is amazing. I've curated some of my favorite elements in the store that have helped me in all of my shoots and I want to show you how you can actually play with all of these elements and create so much variety. Now to start with if you want to go completely minimalistic, using buntings that they have here are a very sweet way. I absolutely love this one, this is my favorite and of course with Valentine's Day around the corner, these are really cute as well. Now to just amp up and give the finishing touches to your sets. There are lots of tiny elements that you could pay attention to and make a big difference. This is what I call finessing your setup. So when I have a honeybee theme idea that I want to execute, adding these tiny little honeybee um, honeybees out there make a big difference to the shoot. And I absolutely love these honey spoons, which are so cute to add to your shoot and not easily available anywhere. One of my favorite things to use when I do boho setups and that's a theme and a trend that's been there for a while and will be there for a while are using these macrum backdrops. Just place them on the backdrop or on a wall and you're good to go. This sort of sets the mood very easily. And they have a large collection in this. This is a smaller one. They have much larger or wider 
macrons that you can actually use. These banners really make a big deal. When I'm running out of ideas to fill my setup and like make it look large is using these apple boxes that are available here. I love how Madras Popster has thought about using these in a very versatile way and they've numbered it with by using the O and the alphabets here. You flip it to the other side and you have a TWO and these are great to use for one and two year olds. Um, and if you want to avoid the numbering or the labeling, you can even use these sides, the, the X first design here. Now these also work on the flip side by simply turning them over and placing elements on this, such as pumpkins, such as flowers, anything at all, just to sort of fill up the frame behind the baby. So these are my go-to and get them in two colors, the brown and the cream, the cream being my favorite. Uh, while thinking about finishing the entire look for the newborn, I've showed you the amazing outfits they have. But what I also love is their collection of these cute little bear hats or this hat set complete with a matching toy. I love the koala bear one, I love the brown one. They have so many more where this comes from, but these two are my favorites and I pulled them out for you. So here are a few more accessories I love to use in a lot of shoots. I love that they have so much of a variety when it comes to pumpkins. So there are the orange ones, there are these cute white stuffed away ish ones. The jute finish ones have my heart. They're so adorable. Um, I love the candles here. These are so useful. You can pretty much insert them into literally any set to give it a nice warm vibe. All you have to do is simply switch it on and you have a little bit of light in your setup and that's really cute. Um, another favorite are these mats, the jute mats. Add a lot of texture. They can be placed right under the bowls that you're using or the beds for you using for newborns and they just really sort of give your entire shoot setup a whole new look when you insert them into frame. The last thing I absolutely have to add to this list are these floral beads that you can use as sets of three or buy two of the same set and fill your entire background with it. It lights up your set like no other, just sort of gives it a whole new look and I just love that they have so many different colors and options available in this. I think they're good with pretty much babies of any age group. So these are definitely on top of my list. I don't think there is a number you should ever put when it comes to buying floral headbands because uh, I have a collection that's overflowing at the moment and for good reason because these are absolutely gorgeous. They have halos, they have um, different sort of designs, they have newborn headbands. The collection here is unbelievably beautiful. And hey, if headbands get too boring for you, why don't you try with some of their crowns? I absolutely love these crowns. These are brand new. And these are my favorite. These newborn crowns will really light up these shoots. I have to show you one more set that I really, really like, which you can use across different age groups. Um, this is my favorite. together a very quick setup here at their studio and I chose some nice dusty pink flowers, some hydrangeas, the rustic boxes, the apple boxes. Um, I love this dusty pink cheesecloth wrap and of course the bamboo cane baskets are one of my favorites. So I could use this for newborns, I could use it for sitters, um, basically a very versatile setup. I could even replace the base prop with any of the other props in the same shade or tonality to add older children as well. I've been in photographer heaven walking you through the store and showing you my favorite props and how I use them and how I intend using the rest because I'm definitely walking out with a huge shopping bag. 
If you're in Madras, do visit the store. You're going to be spoiled for choice in terms of your collections. And I do hope you enjoyed this video that I made for you. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and do share this with your friends.